Hey guys, welcome back to another Let's Play, and today we're going to continue on Life is Strange to True Colors. Um, last time we finished episode one, and then we took kind of a bit of a break, go through Death Loop, which completely captured everything, all our time and attention. So let's go on this journey after I have that brother, that horrific death scene, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, let's enjoy. I'm not big on speeches. I've always believed that the role of the bartender is to shut up and listen. And by that measure, Gabe was the worst bartender I've ever known. I never issued a speeding ticket to someone on a bicycle before, till he came along. He cared so much about my admissions essay. Even though he probably couldn't spell admissions. <laughs> Or essay. <laughs> he booked my band to play the lantern. All the way from Seattle to pretty much right where I'm standing. I can recall 14 specific instances where Gabe said something that made me laugh. The first was two years ago. So, long story short, instead of a ticket, I ended up buying him a beer. Gabe stood like three feet away, grinning like a doofus at us. I'm sure there were more people, but I only remember him. And then he said, I know, that's why the K is silent. <laughs> uh, then the fifth time. He cared about everyone. He was the kind of guy you wanted to be around. He was a world-class bullshitter. He was my best friend. All I want to say about Gabe is... He came into this bar as a stranger. But he left it as family. Guess that's that then. What happened to Gabe was a senseless, tragic accident. And I just wish it that- It wasn't an accident. Son, now is not the time. Gabe called the mine. I gave him my sat phone to be sure he could get through. They fucked up. And now, Now Gabe's dead. That was my shift. If anyone had called, it would have gone through me. Nobody called. You're lying. <laughs> In front of Gabe's own fucking sister, Alex heard the whole thing. He's right. I was there when Gabe made the call. I'd like to hear what you have to say about that, Mac. I'm not saying anything. 
Just, I didn't get a call. Draw your own conclusions. All right, folks. This is an ongoing investigation. How about and, uh, we review the sequence of events, hmm? Well, son... When I saw you at the record store, you seemed pretty eager to find Gabe. Remember why? Hmm? Another fight with Riley, maybe? No, I don't have to take this. Just saying. Pretty wild that you come stumbling out of Gabe's apartment with your face all fucked up. Right. And just a couple hours later, you just so happened to miss the call that would have saved his life? Look, I told you there was no call to miss. And hey, maybe the call got dropped. Oh, shit, I mean, it's not like... It's not like Gabe was Mr. Reliable all the time. You watch your mouth, Mac. Right, that's enough. Now, I'm just as eager as you to understand all this, son, but there was a time... Bullshit, and... Dad. This little weasel's calling Gabe a liar at his own fucking wake. No, I am just telling you. Mac, I swear, if you say there was no call one more fucking time... Stop it! Stop it now! This is not the time or place. We're all here for Gabe. Okay, Ryan? Sure, I'm... I'm sorry. It's not... I'm just trying... I'm not the one who killed him. <laughs> Aren't you, though? What the fuck did you just say? Ryan, back off. Oh, I'm hell. just saying. I thought I heard that you were the one. You shut the hell up. No. No, go ahead. You got something to say, Mac? Let's fucking hear Come it. Come on, guys. Don't make me intervene. All right. Fine. As long as we're tossing around accusations, way I hear it, you're the guy who cut the rope. Why not That's you? That's it. Wake's over. Everyone, out. Alex? Hey. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Are you okay? Not really. But I... I will be. It's not your job to keep it together. Thanks. Do you... Um... It's messy, but... Do you want to come in? Sure. You play guitar? Sort of. It was a gift. From Gabe. Cool. Gabe would try to pop wheelies outside the record store to make me laugh. Never worked. Till he wiped out. That was hilarious.
Gabe really wanted to do the LARP for Ethan. But by the end of it, he was more jazzed about it than anybody. Wish I could have seen it. We took this a year ago. We... No way. I can't. What? We actually kept it. Whatever that bottle made her think of, it really messed her up. I wonder if I could help her the same way I helped Ethan. I need to feel her sadness to figure out how to help her. find out what's really going on with Steph. What are they called again? Don't shit on my yard! They're amazing! Their guitarist has one arm. Badass. <laughs> Dude, give it up. I already booked a bus ticket. Wait, wait. Hear me out. One more game. If I win, you have to stay. If you win, I'll cover the ticket. You just lost 50 bucks. Damn it, fucking overpowered blue meteor. Aww, <laughs> is your controller broken too? We're playing until I win. Then I'll be crashing here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting your new foosball champion, Gabe Chen. Oh, you're the worst. Can't believe I have to stay in this stupid town. I think we both know you could have beat me if you really wanted to. So you're welcome. Bullshit. Here's to your new job at the station. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm not taking it. I move to Denver next week. You what? I think I know enough to help her now. Steph? Sorry. Still can't believe he's gone. Yep. He's the whole reason I'm still... I'm sorry, Alex. Don't mind me. How about a quick match? Did Gabe tell you we played? I just had a hunch. Yeah? 
Well, you're right. I don't really think it's a great time. Fine. First to five points? If you say so. So, how often did you and Gabe play? It was one of our favorite games. You must be pretty good then. Mm-hmm. You were in a band, right? Yeah. What'd you play? Drums. How, uh, how long did you play with them? <sighs> Too long. Gotcha. Five points! That's game! Yep. Big shocker. Oh, hey, at least you played your best. I mean, that obviously wasn't my best. No, I get it. I mean, this is a tough game. It requires skill, timing, and the will to be a champion. Oh, is that how it is? Wait, hold on. The crowd is really picking up on my energy. Ah, we love you, Alex! Ah, sucks. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> I want a rematch. You're on. I'm actually trying this time, so you better focus. I am focusing. Good. Wouldn't want you to get distracted or anything. Certainly not. Greatest Northwest band of all time, go. <laughs> Are you trying to distract me? Oh, of course not. Slater Kinney, if you were wondering. Let's get serious. One more game, winner takes title of ultimate foosball champion. Mm, I don't know. Come on. You know Gabe would be all about his playing like this. Well, then it's settled. <laughs> this is it for all the marbles. So many marbles. Definitely the kind of game you want to focus on, no matter what happens. Hey, so are you into girls or what? <laughs> I mostly dated guys before, actually. Oh yeah? Do they listen to CDs of bird calls? Because I could hook you up. <laughs> Can't say I've ever dated a bird call enthusiast before. Who's the one? How convinced were you that that was going to work, from one to ten? Like a three? That's more than zero. Woo! Foos! 
Foosball Champion! Foosball Champion! Goddamn <laughs> family! Oh! <laughs> Good game. Thanks, Alex. I'm really glad you talked me into it. It was a lot of fun. Of course. kind of crazy that you knew exactly what would cheer me up. Don't give me too much credit. I'm the one who really needed it. So, what are you gonna do now? What do you mean? That shit with Mac, he's clearly lying, right? I'm not sure what Mac's deal is. His story doesn't add up. Yeah. I do know that I need to find out exactly what happened that night. For myself and for Gabe. I've got your back. No matter what. Thank you means a lot. I should head back to work. Cool. Bye. I know Gabe made that call. Ooh, but that was a lot really to take let the in. the blast go off just to get back at him? I mean, it got... What the... Clean your dirty clothes, lady. Yeah, like I said, it was a lot to take in there. A lot of cutscenes and dialogue. And that foosball thing went on forever. Oh, Lord. See? I can be a person. You know what I mean? Let's, uh, let's go up here. Go upstairs. Come on, Alex. Move it. I'm surprised at how long the loading is for a PS5 game. Like, especially something like this. Surely. I know it's not that long of being over dramatic and all this, but just... Please. I'll toss those soon. I swear. I don't know. Feels like it's taking forever. This thing's been up here a while. Isn't that what Steph's is old band? Uh, you could stay here too. Oh, nice. I wouldn't try to stop you. Yeah, good. I'll be the only trans person in a town with a population of like four. That sounds like a blast for me. Thanks for not trying to stop really? me. Izzy? I'm sorry, Izzy. It's not you. And it's not the band. I fucking love that shit. But I need to try this. It's just... time for something new. I knew it. I knew this would happen eventually. Fucking... Oof. Um, uh, See you around, Steph. Baggage there. Let's keep moving on. What are we supposed to do? Am I just supposed to go around cleaning now? See, I keep thinking these are cutscenes. It's just her going down the stairs. Shoo shoo. Looked at all this stuff in the first episode. Weird. She's been here like a day, right? 
the day she arrived, her brother died. Oh. Thanks, I'm having a small event for your brother tomorrow at 9. I'd love to have you there, but no pressure, okay? You take all the time you need, Chad. Alex, let me know if you need any groceries. I've covered the cost, Jed. What? Put ice in all the old risk. Thanks, Jed. Alex, I'm so sorry. Apartment's yours for as long as you need. You know where to find me if anything comes up, Jed. Confused. Jed is the bartender downstairs? Is it? Oh. Damn, something went down here. what you're trying to do for me, Mr. Lukin, but I'm not staying long. And I don't take handouts. Just maybe don't cash that check like right now. We got another one. It's cool. This helps you find all this stuff. I had an incredible trophies. And I decided I yeah. wanted to be a ranger. She was the first person I told. She said, she said, you're exactly with these mount. Cave was the most cave I've ever imagined I slept. Made life better. I should have saved him. I don't know what to say. Heavy dude. So sorry, little girl. I can only imagine you're going through for coffee and What? He says, I don't know what to do. If I lost him, thank you. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. Riley. Who's Riley again? So sorry. Okay, but 9 a.m. today, if you care to join on. This was the scene in the beginning. You'll see, Gabe. There's the video to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out. Dr. Lynn, good luck in this new chapter of your life. Has been blocked. You'll no longer see messages on this number. Mountains need. Bye, Mom. I should put something here. It's the least I can do. Gabe Chen. Smooth criminal. This, it's a trap. Like they must have been close. Poor Ethan. A traffic thing. Courtesy of Haven's favorite DJ. Put, I bet. I hope Ducky didn't okay. finish this by himself. I wish we'd had more time. Maybe I can find something upstairs to put on. If I never saw mining equipment ever again, it'd be too soon. I'm Damn, good. Ducky. Oh, well, it's Ducky. Everyone else. Not the shelf. Why do I feel like this is a challenge? Ducky's the good guy. I'll spend the rest of my life wondering what would have happened if right this town has a long like memory. That. How I do I it's no, I'm supposed to journal? Oh my god, what a mess. Nice to know that Gabe won't be forgotten. We had courage and devotion that night too. Oh yeah, yeah. Wasn't enough, I, I guess. Don't know what. You're not supposed to be down here. Is that Jed without his beard? I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to do 
something first and back in the room? RM and TB. I wonder who they were. Carving zone, okay. Ugh, we're a little confused here, guys. We'll figure it out. It's life strange in the how could it be? Quickly go through here. Wonder what I can find up here to add to Gabe's memory, memory table. table. Oh, okay. There we go. I wonder how she's really holding up. Gabe used to swat the controller out of my hands if he thought I was going to beat him. Jerk. Thank God for this thing. We'd never have found oh, Ethan without it. The comic that kid made. Why are dishes always the first thing to clean the dishes? Don't be filthy. There. So much better. It's a start. Not much to toast at the moment. Feels like a million years since that day with Gabe. Hasn't even been a week. The kind of person who got that worked up over a college essay could be capable of almost anything. Hey, Shushu. Thanks for sticking around. Get dressed. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, let's put this thing on. That's better. Maybe I should put this downstairs. Family portrait. You're coming downstairs. It's all a matter of trying everything, testing everything, seeing your own luck. Glad I have something to add to Gabe's just, table. The, the room transition between room and room is why is it so long? Alright, let's place the photo. Always knew how to get me to smile. Um, uh, I thought that would be it. Now, maybe we can just leave. Oh, hey, Alex. You got a second? Um, sure. Won't take long. <sighs> Wanted to apologize for all of us. We're all grieving, but that's no excuse. It was your brother's wake. And you both deserve better than listening to a bunch of fools squabble. I appreciate it. That was pretty rough. Although it's hard to imagine a good version of your dead brother's wake. No, there's no good version. Just all of us trying to get through it together the best we can. Wasn't the first wake held in this old building. I doubt it'll be the last. Anyway, if there's anything I can do, just let me know. 
I need to talk to Mac. I know he's lying. I just don't know why. Any idea where I can find him? Well, he helps out Eleanor at the flower shop. That'd be the place to start. Thanks. I feel like I should warn you, though. You might not get the kind of closure you're looking for. If you get any at all. Just... Don't pin all your hopes on Mac Loudon. Thanks for looking out for me, but what else am I supposed to do? I wish I had an answer for you. But if you get a chance before you go all dirty, Harry, swing by the dispensary. Charlotte wants to see you. And one more thing. I've been meaning to give you this for the last few days, but I didn't want to disturb you up there. It'll get you through that door and the one upstairs. This is your home now, for as long as you'd like. What about rent? I don't want to be a freeloader. Don't worry about that for right now. We'll work out a way for you to earn your keep when the time comes. Thank you. Give him hell. <laughs> I... I have no idea what to even say to him. That's Jad, you know. What a nice guy. Clear up all this stuff. I feel sick. I think because it keeps from my notifications. Haven has an indie movie way. theater. Impressive. I don't have so much. Like, we've only been here not that long for me to. Anyhow. Just get connected to all this stuff so quickly. I uh, can't reply to him. I need to visit the dispensary. Huh? Whatever. Okay, Jed said I might find Mac in the flower shop, but I have time to swing by the dispensary. The park looks fun to explore. I used to babysit Ethan when he was little. This whole thing is so horrible. Where are you hiding, my feathered friend? Please, I need you. Is she looking for... Oh, sorry. I'm not sure what to say. You're Cool binoculars. You bird watching? <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to win a contest. Oh, good luck. Thanks. Oh, sorry. You're fine. What if I'm secretly a total prodigy at disc golf? 
but never had the chance. I wonder if this is the bird that woman is looking for. Maybe I should let my binocular friend know. That might be our feathered friend. There's a huge bird over by the wall. Seriously? That might be my hawk. Thank you. It's bullshit. We have a right to know what's happening to our jobs. You guys don't think anything's really gonna change, right? Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Sorry about today. It's not Steph your... asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. How could Chrissy leave me? After everything we've been through together. It's hard to beat breakup music. But maybe I can find something around here to cheer him up. Wait, Chrissy? She's a dog? Hey. You posted about a lost dog, right? I think they have her over at Todd's Hardware. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Hi, I'm calling about the lost dog. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. Is she there now? Oh, oh. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Might be a good time to check out the dis- Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I had time. Might be a good time to check out the dispensary. Jed said Charlotte wants to talk to me. Do you want to do something together next week? Oh, sorry. We met briefly. You're Gabe Chen's sister, right? Alex, yeah. I didn't know him well, but I could tell he had a big heart. I'm so sorry for your loss. Charlotte? Alex, hey. 
Jed said you wanted to see me. I just wanted to see how you were doing. I've been trying to stay busy mostly. Yeah, distractions help. How about you? I can't even imagine what you're going through. Honestly, I'm really trying to keep it together for Ethan. He's hurting. Is he all right? He practically just lost a father. But he's shutting me out. He's never done that before. Not when it mattered. Everyone grieves differently. Maybe he just needs some time. We've been through a lot together. With the divorce and moving. He's never shut down like this. I just can't get through to him. I can't get over the feeling that the one person who could help me deal with the aftermath of Gabe's death is Gabe. What is this? An affidavit from Typhon. If I sign, I'm agreeing not to press charges. In exchange for a payment. A big one. How big are we talking? It's send Ethan to college big. Shit. Are you gonna sign it? I don't know. I'm trying to put Ethan first, but... What would you do? Do you think it would be a betrayal of Gabe? What the hell? Why am I, why am I making this insane decision for you? I think you should take the money at this point, right? I mean... Ugh... Uh, the kid then won't go to college if we don't take it. I'll say this town looks like it's going to hell. Take the money. Sell out. Or don't sell out. Now sell out. Your kid... Your kid already got... You got your brother, you know, killed. Yeah, get ready. Send him some. Maybe he'll learn something. You have to put Ethan first. If the money helps, I think you should take it. Thanks, Alex. That means the world. That affidavit feels scummy, but Ethan should come first. I really appreciate you stopping by. Feel free to take a look around if you want. Yeah, okay. Man, these things better do the trick. I'm averaging like three hours a night. Pro tip, insomnia doesn't usually come from nowhere and THC is way better at treating it when you're also tackling the underlying cause. Any idea what's keeping you up? I'm gonna figure out why Max lying. I'm always here for you, if you need anything. Thanks. Still need to check the flower shop for Mac. It's 
fine. I love being on hold. I love this song. Yeah, I love how the town Finally. feels alive. They did such a good job with the town. Oh, flower shop. Okay. Uh, it just how the beautiful lined up. This is the main road. Yeah, and all this stores like this. It it feels like a real place, which I really appreciate, which is good. Eleanor? Oh! <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> no need to apologize. How are you, dear? Oh. I'm, um... I'm okay, I guess. Taking it one moment at a time. It's the best way to be. Uh, is Mac here? Oh, he was helping me not too long ago. I think he just left. Can't have gotten too far. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Thanks. Now, what was I? Hmm. She looks terrified. I can't leave her like this. What do you want? You want to make fun of me too, like those other jock assholes? What? No. I, you made a sick killer robot and won a fucking contest. That's. First of all, we got third place, and anyway, he's not a robot. Technically, he's... Ugh, God, way to take the bait, Rai. You know what? Fuck those pricks. You rule, and I would really like to see your robot, if you want to show me. Fading. Fading. I, feel I feel broken. broken. The doctor the said doctor I had, said more, I time, had more time, but, but everything, everything is becoming so, so out, of, out order. of order.
If they know about my condition, they'll make me close this place. It's not just that she forgot what she was doing. She's afraid she's forgetting everything. But how can I help her? Forget what you were working on? <sighs> you could say I'm having a bit of a senior moment. <laughs> well, maybe I can help. Seems like you have a lot going on today. I could help you retrace your steps. Oh, I, I don't want to keep you. <laughs> hey. I... I want to help. Did you trim these flowers today? I... don't remember. You must have flipped the sign to open. I always flip it first thing when I come in. And then I open my mail. Something must have distracted me. Better. We can do this. Could a phone call have distracted you? Yes. I got a call first thing in the morning. But I can't think who it was. Maybe we can find something to remind you. Could it have been Riley who called? I think that's right. She called to tell me about a new order. Oh, goodness. What was the order for? Rush order. This must be what Riley came in for. I think that order might have been for these lilies. Of course. Riley helped me pick them out before she left. Now we just have to figure out who ordered them. The check for the lilies would be in here, right? That could tell us who bought them. Should. Mr. Jedediah Lucan. Huh. Looks like the lilies are for Jed. That's right. Riley dropped off an order for Jed. I knew you'd figure it out. I couldn't have done it without you. 
Seriously, Alex. You're a godsend. Jed must be hosting some event. I wonder why he wants lilies, though. They're traditionally for funerals. God. She doesn't remember. You know Jed. Probably doesn't know the difference between a lily and a tulip. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sell him short. He's more clever than he seems. Thanks again for your help. Don't be a stranger. I won't. Promise. She was finally feeling better. I didn't want to ruin that. Again, Eleanor said Mac traditional sequences, you know what I mean? Kind of take some time. It's uh, nearby. I don't see him here. See him. Maybe, at the, Maybe at the bridge. Uh, let's go back to the record. See what's up with Steph. Steph asked me to pop by the record store if I, I had time. time. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Ruin someone else's life. Like that poor girl. Are you serious? Uh, thank you so much. I I'll call them right now. Steph asked me to swing by. She's got to be around here somewhere. Chrissy? Is she okay? Oh, thank God. Is she there now? Hey, I'm glad you stopped by. I've only got a sec, but... Can I pick her up today? Have you talked to Ethan at all? Sweat. Take your time. I'll wait. He's taking it really hard. But what you did for me this morning got me thinking. What if Ethan needs something like that too? Something fun and distracting. Something like a LARP. Like... costumes? Foam swords, that kind of thing? Yeah, but designed just for him and Thanor. He'll love that. Yeah, I'm glad you think so. I need your help, though. I want it to be as good as it can be. Ethan gave you one of his comics, right? So, what do you think? Who would the famous monster slayer have the most fun defeating? Stormrather looks like a worthy opponent. He gets my vote. <laughs> All right, then. Oh, I, I gotta get back in there. There's some stuff in my comp book. It'd be cool if you could check it out. Help me make some calls. I'll see what I can do. Hey, uh, Haven listeners. That was Phone Tap. With their new single, Elephant in the Room. We've got a sweet block of in helpful. Indie rock coming down the pike, but first Gabe was hoping I'd get back into playing. Maybe I will. Sponsored by Typhon Mining Company. The mission is free this year, so bring your friends, bring your family. Hell, bring your ex. I'm sure it'll be different this time. Still going. Maybe I'll get to hear her play sometime. Val, I just. 
just want to be friends. Ninth Warden's cool, but not as cool as Thanor. I can't believe he ordered that record. Fuck. It's sweet. She's planning a whole LARP for Ethan. Hope I get to see what happens next. Oh. Looks like Steph wants me to do more than just make some decisions. She wants me to play a bard. Guess I'm in. Let's start with my name. throwback to Ethan's old buddy. Ability time. Distortion field sounds fun, but healing serenade could really come in handy. Healing serenade it is. How did I meet Thanor? It was a dark and stormy night. This LARP thing just might work. The adventures of Thanor are about to get real. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's... Eleanor said Mac is nearby. I don't see him here. Maybe at the bridge? I don't get it. Do people just not want ice cream anymore? I looked over the budget. If we only open three days a week, we'll be able to scrape by. Is that it? Are We're we losing our business. But it's like, everything's a joke to him. She must feel so alone. Things will have to keep up a brave face for Angela. She loves our store so much. He must be exhausted. Hope they figure it out. How do those words taste? Not like peaches. We should push the rum raisin harder. It's... How's your progress in Moondrop Ranch? your chicken coop Mac Alex Look, it's not a good time. You owe me an explanation about what happened to Gabe. I'm really sorry he died. And I appreciate that you... You didn't out me to Riley the other night, but I can't talk to you. I get it. He died on your shift and you're freaked, but you have to come clean. Please. There's nothing I can tell you. Mac, come on. He was my big brother. I can't. 
Something definitely has him scared. Maybe if I could tap into his fear, I could get to the truth. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge. to get me. Alex, Ryan, even Riley. Fuck! Even Riley? Did something happen with her? Too bad I can't just run away from all this. So where could we Riley be? A radio ad too. That'll help. Please say it's not the one you read to me the other day. Bench girl. that guy's sister I feel so bad for her getting sick of people feeling bad for me yeah. let's get sick of it yo let's get sick of it old guy oh, okay yeah a warning would have been nice come on man can't you take a hint She's not into you. Let it go. That's rough. If I tell him I like him, we'll date, and then we'll break up, and then I'll lose my best friend. Hmm. Maybe I could help them. Wait, hell no. What am I thinking? This yeah, is seriously. none of my business. Alex, stay the hell out of it. Got other business to take care of. This location gets all the foot traffic. And word around the water cooler is the mining company. Like a hint would be nice. Man, these overnight shifts really take it out of me. Yeah, my sleep. Hmm. Damn, Why should one accident close all the trails? What a wasted vacation. Yes. We're all suffering wow. here. Wow. Okay. Forgot about those people. They exist. Enter the flower shop. If she knows where her daughter is. Eleanor, is it? Eleanor? Where's your daughter, Eleanor? Transitions from one location to another. She was finally feeling better. I'm so I didn't want to ruin that. Look, just just tell me where, it, where. I hope you find Mac. Thanks. I hope it's good news. Where is Riley? That's what I want to know. Hey. I just need to find something I could use to push him over the edge.
This is seriously taking a lot longer than I thought, and it's kind of killing the momentum. It's not. Ooh. I did not like hinting out where she could be, or someone could tell you. Oh yeah, I've seen her. They didn't feel like painting the mine. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. If he's innocent, why is he acting like this? Acting like what? Maybe I can hey Riley. Here we go. Alex. Hey. That fight Mac had with Gabe over your secret meetings. They were about you applying to college, right? Yeah. Ever since the first time Mac lost his shit in front of them, Gabe and Charlotte had tried to get me to end things with him. And after all this, I can see that they were right. Do you think he's telling the truth about the call? That Gabe never made it? No, I, I... It's not that... I... Sorry. I'm really not ready to talk about it. Yeah. I get it. It's just... If he didn't do anything wrong... Why is he acting like he has something to hide? He asked me to leave Haven with him. What? Right after the wake. He wouldn't tell me why. But he just looked so guilty. I told him I had to think about it, but... Alex, I... I'm scared. He did something horrible. Riley. Thank you for telling me. You deserve the truth. I gotta run. There's some stuff I need to do. Okay. We'll talk soon. Soon? Yeah. Whenever you want. Eh, uh, maybe. maybe. Mac trying to yeah. skip town is sketchy as shit. I bet I could use that to yeah, stoke his fear. Depends, you know. Uh, I mean, Mac is definitely like very suspicious right now, but it's too on the nose, so it's clearly not gonna be him. I should make sure there's nothing uh, else I want to do Money's before I confront mind. Mac. And now, honestly, I'm even suspecting Steph. Uh, that reaction in the room. What process. Riley told me might do process. it, but I should make sure there isn't anything I still want to do around town first. Okay, let's do this. I got Riley to tell me about your plans to leave town. That's not something innocent people do. Oh God, it's not. I didn't do anything. <sighs> Fuck off!
deal with Mac when I get to him. For now, I need to learn everything I can. Typhon's always watching. They run this whole town. I saw Mac run down that alley. Mac feels like everyone's staring at him. Everyone thinks I killed him. They all hate me! It's not fair! I didn't do anything wrong! It should have been you instead. Alex? No! What the hell? There are people out there! No, I told you to call it off! I saw the way they looked to me at the wake. They all think I let him die. I know why you're lying. Typhon's forcing you to deny the call. What the fuck? I know you tried to stop it. They fucked up, not you. Stop lying for them! You don't get it. This wasn't some accident. I told them you were down there, and they detonated anyway. On purpose? Why? I don't know. I swear. And then I get a message telling me to deny there was ever a call. You gotta believe me. Gabe and I, we didn't get along, but I, I didn't want him dead. And now, now Typhon's watching me. My girlfriend, she, she thinks I'm a murderer? My neighbors all hate me? I mean, what, what, what the fuck am I supposed to do? I think I can calm him down. But does he deserve it? All right, Mac. Come on. You gotta calm down, okay? Dude, stay with me. I know what it's like to be doubted. To have everyone think the worst of you. But the truth will come out. I'll make sure of it. But Typhon... If Typhon comes after you, they're gonna have to get through me too, okay? <sighs> Thanks. I actually feel a little better. <laughs> yeah, well... You learn a thing or two hanging out with shrinks your whole life. <laughs> so, what are you gonna do now? Don't leave Haven. I'm gonna get to the truth. Hey. Yeah, it's... Can we talk? Where are you?
Okay. You were right. About Typhon, about Mac. Alex. Mac got the call. How do you know that? He got the call and he lied about it. Doesn't matter. Someone is putting pressure on him to keep quiet. Someone from the mine and- It doesn't matter. I keep- Coming here and playing it back. But it always ends the same. Ryan. He's dead. He's really dead, Alex. We are getting into trippy territory It was my now. fault. My job is to keep people safe. And I failed. You did everything right. Typhon took him away from us. Not you. She's wrong. I let her cross that log. I put Gabe in harm's way. I'm not a hero. I'm a coward. Worse than worthless. You were brave this morning. You're brave now. I've never been as brave as you. It doesn't matter. Gabe's dead. Because of me. Gabe, I'm so sorry. Gabe loved you, Ryan. He would forgive you. You know that. You're not alone. <laughs> this took quite an interesting uh, turn. I wasn't expecting a mining company named Typhon be the ones we're gonna go after. You know, whoa, whoa. Person, hold on. But, uh, I don't know. There's a guy in a gorilla suit? I don't know if I like the decision, but let's see. <laughs> Does he also jump off of the cliff and into the pool? No, no, he chases a guy in a banana suit. That guy jumps off the cliff and into the pool. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. This is a Mexican restaurant? Eh, nominally. <laughs> <laughs> the food is, uh, well, terrible. But it's Gabe's favorite place. 
I tell you, he's the oldest 12 year old I know. Can I ask you something? Of course. You came up here to tell me that I was right about Mac. About him getting the call. How did you know? There's something you should know about me. And it's gonna be easier to show you than to explain it. This is gonna seem sort of weird at first, then really weird. Do you trust me? Okay. Think of something that just scares the shit out of you. Really focus until you feel it. Typhon, all of it. You're afraid you won't know how to handle it without Gabe. Never knew anyone so good at getting into and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, man, this one time. Glad I was able to help, but I think I'll pass on the kisses. We're going to send him off right this time. Whatever it is you're thinking about right now, don't stop, okay? Keep going. Okay. <laughs> what emotion is this? together. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood, huh? Gabe, this is serious. <laughs> Killing a Canadian goose is a violation of international law. Shut up. It is not. <laughs> They're Canadian geese, Gabe. Property of the crown. The... The crown of... The property of the crown, Gabe. What do we do? <laughs> Gabe, goose. I see it. It'll move. It's not moving. It'll move. Gabe! How deep you think? Deeper than that. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police can spot a goose grave at a hundred paces. <laughs> the Mounties? <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
sorry. How long were you going to let me dig? <laughs> I wasn't going to stop you. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> did you finish burying the goose or not? <laughs> okay, also, property of the crown? <laughs> really? <laughs> well, they are technically protected under the Migratory Bird Treaty Act. <laughs> There's just something wrong with the way I process other people's emotions. I see these auras, I guess. And sometimes, if somebody's feeling something big, it sort of infects me. And I start feeling it too. And that's what you just did with... with me? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You're a literal wizard. It's... it's only ever been the bad emotions before. But that... that was pure joy. Who else knows? Gabe did. But now I guess just you. And that's how I know Max terrified of Typhon. He reported Gabe's call and they ignored it. Now they're putting pressure on him to toe the line. Okay, but why? I don't know yet. Someone made the decision to let the blast go off. Seems like finding out who would be a good start. So, you're going after Typhon? You'll need help. You don't have to. You're stuck with me now. Okay, then. Team up. Do the buddy cop thing. <laughs> You're a loose cannon, Chen. But you get results. This one's for you, Gabe. I miss you. so awkward with this uh you know the for the copyright stuff of the music is like just on silent <laughs> it's like the first episode with the air guitar now there's another weird awkward silent moment here with the 
I think you can tell there's music playing in the background. I'm sure. I didn't speak this again. morning. I couldn't. Hearing everyone talk about him, about the life he had here with all of you. I lost the chance to have that. But even though I only had one day with him, he changed my life. I said, I didn't know if I belonged here. He told me that home isn't something you find. It's something you build. I love you, Gabe. Notice the girl on the left. She's not feeling it. Everyone's feeling that emotion except that girl, Diane. Maybe that's a clue. That's a hint. You know what I mean? You see? Look, everyone. Everyone. Oh, there she goes. Damn. Busted. Something you built, trophy. Oh, and that's a wrap on the on episode two chapter. Let's see our friend stats. Calm them down, six percent. Eleanor forgot about Gabe's death, thirty-four percent. Alex Minor, what happened? Sixty-six percent. Charles signed Typhon's agreement, thirty-eight percent. Oh yeah, didn't take it. Alex didn't visit her, zero percent. I didn't sit on the edge of the dock. Why did I sit on the edge of the dock? Huh. Left the mess for later? What? I, I thought I tidied. I, I tried to find the option. Anyway. Put a photograph on Graves' memory table. Alex didn't look at the dartboard. Damn. Alex chose to go by Alwyn and the LARP. Oh, a lot of most people chose that too. Alex didn't sit at the table on the rooftop. Alex backed Ryan's claim at the wake. Alex offered Ryan Gabe's forgiveness. Ryan and Alex shook hands at the ravine. A lot of people chose the hug option. I don't know. It feels too weird for them to be huggy here. Alex got the title of Foosball Champion. Oof. Most people lost her. Steph made Storm Rider the LARP boss. Most people chose a close one, though. Alex helped the bird watcher find her hawk. Oh, that's even part of it. Okay, now majority of people have done that. Alex helped the sad dude find his dog. Majority of people did do that, of course. Well, that's going to call for now, guys. And it's going to be a wrap on episode two. We'll continue on episode three later on. I hope you all enjoyed that video. Please make sure to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.